Maze Production. Global warming theory. Not theory. That's actually happening. Oh, is that true? Yeah. I never really paid attention. Dissertation on the ice caps melting. I mean, sun is gonna do what it's gonna do, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just... elevation. Obviously, you don't watch National Geographic. I do. I, 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 I like watching the animals chase <laughs> chase down other ones, but yeah. Um, we should watch the ones that deal with like polar the equators. Ice caps and, and, yeah. Yeah. Oh man. That I, that sounds so exciting to look at polar ice caps melt. It's very informative. I know it's informative. Do it it's kind of like, I need, like I need some action. Like I it need the polar is. bear. Like <laughs> I don't even know. Like raindrops drop top. I, don't know, I need to do something. I can't right. look at snow caps alone. There's Man. some animals on there. It's just it? not dealing yeah, with. Yeah, I bet you they have a lot of fun. That'd be too damn cool for me though. <laughs> And the polar ice caps too cool. Yeah, you got to it. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. hey y'all, uh, we uh, hey, you know it's Friday, yeah, and we got the kids here. The kids are out of school. You know this in service, whatever it is. I don't even understand what in service <laughs> teacher conferences are. I need to pay more attention to the calendar because I get sideswiped every single time. I'm like, mm-hmm. wait, what? There's right. no school for exactly. what reason? They got like three days off. I'm trying yeah, to think. It's who, a five day weekend. Five day I'm trying to weekend. think who the holiday is. It's my weekend. Because Monday, Monday, you got President's Day. All right. Is that for all presidents? Or is it just it's for, for all presidents. Oh, okay. And then last week, I think you said something about the holiday. It was a holiday, but it's, sta- it's by state. Um, it's, I think it's Lincoln's birthday. Oh, so certain states have served. So far, Illinois it. probably has served. Missouri don't do it. Yeah, oh, okay. I mean, what do he do for us? I mean, you know. Missouri yeah, hated that. They, 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 that. This was a slave state. They don't like the that. Well, the next to the last one, due to Jay's research. Who was last? Texas? Uh, nope. Alabama. They 2013. Just, oh, yeah, they just. They uh, actually put it in writing. So we can't even claim we're the last ones. We can't even one up and say we're the last ones to. We weren't even the last ones. Stubby, anyway. stubborn down there. It was not going to sign that paper. Look at look, Jay. She loved. Look. I wish sometimes I wish we still had like the um the encyclopedias or whatever that you had to look up because people be trying to be too sharp now and look it up like yeah. you know what yeah. he didn't run for two hundred seventy five yards OJ did not run for two hundred seventy five <laughs> yards I'm about to find out right now look real quick what's your Wi Fi password Nah nigga I don't know what the <laughs> password is I ain't giving it to you <laughs> then you got the extra uh sadiddy folks who they want to push the button and talking to them. How many yards did OJ oh. have in 1970? I was going to do it. Like, now you're going to speak elaborate. <laughs> now you're going to be yeah, elaborate and talking was that clean all day. Mississippi in 2013. Oh, okay. Right, not Alabama. Right. Okay. Close to it. Yeah. I mean, you know, Mississippi, Alabama. Alabama. You know, I mean, cousins right. and whatnot, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, apples and oranges. All right. Yeah. Tomato, hmm. tomato. Um, right. But uh, we were trying to figure out what to talk about today. It's just a lot, you know, it's a lot that we can speak on. Yeah. And we decided to make the main focus on the kids. Right. I mean, you if they're out of school, we might as well talk about yeah, it. Yeah, you know, we got the kids. We on, we on daddy, mommy, auntie, uncle duty. Right. Neighbor. And neighbor duty. Right, extra duty. So, so they in the that's backyard. A, that's a good thing, though, man. That sounds like community, like it used to be, you know what I'm I saying? think to it's phenomenal, like really. really. Yesterday was a... Yeah, Say like that. it's like one one thing <laughs> that y'all gonna, one thing that y'all gonna see and hear is like you are gonna hear some parenting going on because they literally out in the back kicking it like kids don't go outside anymore. Right. We trying to push them back outside. Yes, exactly right. There used to be a time, man. I had to be damn near dragged in. What did the inside of the house look like? I, look, Come on, man. What did it look like? That's what I was talking about yesterday. After my smart ass kid got smart with me about this whole skateboard situation, mm-hmm. it was fun to watch them outside. They was outside for hours. Right. From like four to like seven, they was outside. And I felt good because normally 
that you're front of TV playing video games. Yep. Exactly. But they yeah. also have skateboards, bikes. It's, and, you know, you got to watch them over there in River Park, though, because they got some real thugs over there, you know. I, I, well, I, let, I know. I let my son, I mean, they was out playing, you know, typical, you know, kid stuff. I look up, man. He had my son like one of them. He had him in like the Boston Crab or something, you know what Ouch. I'm saying? No. I was like, yo, what you doing, little man? He was like, this is a WWE move. I said, man, that is fake. Your boy, brother. Asphalt? <laughs> yeah, it was like little G was going I, in. That's what happened <laughs> yes, yesterday. Um, my son had pushed the neighbor. They was on the skateboard. They was pushing each other off of it down the stairs. I was like, hey, hey, hey. No. Yeah. No, that's not what we do. Well, yeah. here's the thing. It's not, as a parent, you're like, that's not what we do. But just think about when you was younger. That's what you did. Right. That's not what I did. I was down in Kirktown riding. We was riding bikes with climbing trees. Did you just say? Oh, so did that, you say Kirktown? The infamous Kirktown. Did, did you say Kirktown? I did. What do you know about Kirktown? What? The Who South Side or not? Kirktown. <laughs> Grew up in Kirktown. The South Side show. I've never uh, look. It's like it's like I just met her. I did not know this when we think about Kirktown. Right. You know I said yeah, the Kirkside. 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 Okay. Kirkside. Yeah, we was in Kirktown. Like we tried to get bougie as hell. Like no, we stayed in Kirkside. Like we stayed in Kirktown. No hell no. Next door to it, Kirkside though. <laughs> right. And then right across from Ruskin Heights. Are you for real? I remember a pool being right there, but I don't know if yeah. somebody my drowned. Grandma, my grandma lived on Oakland, up the straight, like right there. I was Ruskin High. Oakland is Ruskin oh, Heights, Ruskin. literally Ruskin across Ruskin. the street. Stayed on Oakland, and then my cousins and them they lived in Kirktown. So. so, so you know that used to be, that used to that was specifically built at a time for teachers that worked for Hickman Mill School District. That's what the intention was, you know, for the teachers that worked in English, uh, which is right across the street. Oh, well, yeah, nice. Shout out yeah. to the Indians. Yeah. Actually, they're not Indians no more. I think they like koalas or they had to get rid of or something. something like that. I think right. they unified. Yeah, I think it's all eagles schools. now. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's right. But that was that, that was that's my stomping ground. But I do remember when I used to walk the quick trip down the street where the water park is, oh, where the right. YMCA used yeah. to be. Yeah. Right. That used to be quick trip. Down there. Mm-hmm. I would cross the street. Yeah, I would right. cross fast the street shot. when it came to fast shot. But the shooting happened when it was quick trip. And quick trip, when they, when, when the shooting happens there, they, they know how to switch up out of there. Man. Like, nope. It's like yesterday, they was gone. Yeah. Man, no, like, like, Piggly man. Wiggly was the store. Wow. IGA wow. Super Center. Yep. <laughs> At the party shop on the side. I can't believe. Well, okay, she she know about it. <laughs> she, just, yeah, she know about it. Yeah. She did that. Has church has always been there too on the corner right up there? Churches right? has Number always church been, been there. Always yeah. been there. Always, always been, there. been the church as long as I know, man. That's yeah, crazy. as far back I can remember. As far churches. back I can remember, it was a church. <laughs> yeah, but churches yeah. took me out the game. By the way. What you mean? It took my. I'm gonna blame churches on my gallbladder <laughs> because I got that. I got that six piece for two ninety nine. Right. That following morning, I woke up with the stones. Ooh. Woke up with the stones. Them. I can't. The the pieces are too big. Them. I don't even eat the dirty bread. So. You know what? You should not. It's the steroid. They, 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 they was the first one to get in kills the stero- steroids and chickens and all that stuff. I ain't right. seen so many buff ass chickens in my life. Man, you know. It's like Venice Beach, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, your muscle beach <laughs> part. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to L.A. My God. Right. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was everything. It was fun when I was there. But here's the thing. You know, the, the our main focus is on kids. Of course, we're going to be nostalgic and, and, and talk about our upbringing. We can talk about our upbringing. Right. What, what kind of childhood did... Like, did y'all have? You know what I mean? Like, did you have a crew that you ran with? Did you ever since... Did y'all ever sense danger around you, or was it just like, man, every day is golden. I can't wait to go outside. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Even though we know, like, Kansas City, what it was in the 80s and not, it never been, like, a super safe city. But when you just engulfed in your family and your friends and everybody around you, you just don't even pay attention to that type of stuff. I, just I think I was fun. 18 when I looked around and was like, What's wrong with this city? This is not how I used to remember it. Yeah. Yeah, it's changed now. But then, I mean, that's just what it was. You went outside. You had, fa- like I said, you had family. On every block. On every block. So, it wasn't, if I didn't kick it and play with my family members, I knew the next family, a door down or two doors down, that, you know, I could walk right in and get some Kool-Aid right out the 
Right. Refrigerator, you know what I'm saying? Well, this is exact, man, this is amazing. Because this is exactly what me and the homie Kenny was talking about, by the way. He said, yeah. what's up? Yeah, my guy Kenny. We were Shout literally to- talking about this Kenny last Jack. night. Um, how it was a village. When it came to, like he gave an example, him, you know, growing up, spending most of, some of his years on, on I think it was South Benton or Belfound, 38th to 39th. Uh-huh. He didn't move out to Kirkside until probably, I think we moved out there probably around the same time. Oh, okay. 87, 88, so we was in second grade. Right. But he yeah, said back tiny. in the day, <laughs> back in the day, yeah, he was barely even born. <laughs> <laughs> um, but back, you know, back in the day, all the exactly. all the men exactly. they went fishing on Sunday. Oh, stuff! They would go fishing. Like, I'm not sure where they would go. I know that was one of the places they the, would go. The one in Swope Park. Yeah, on the back side. but they would fill up a vat full of fish. But it was a village, so they would bring all that fish home. The mamas, they would all collectively come together, collect the fish. Yeah, fillet them, and the whole block. The whole block ate. Right. Like it was just a fish fry for that day. Yeah, if that, that happened now, we, you better know tomorrow the world might end. Yeah. What to happen nowadays. Cause that's just, I remember that's that. That's so far. Um, I grew up in three places. My grandparents stayed on 76th and Lydia. My mom and her first husband, we lived on 56th and Lydia. And my aunt Emma lived up the street. And then we was in, I was I mean, in Kirkstown for my daddy's side. The so, session you had with Lydia. But anyway, yeah, I'm just saying. Hey. Yeah. All right. Hey. Seventy six and Lydia. Okay. And then fifty six and Lydia. But anyway, yeah. every Friday, mom's first husband, he has a big family, and every Friday, all the kids, everybody's family was at my house. Fish fry every Friday. Right. No questions asked. If right. I got out of school on Friday, I knew when I come home, the whole Brown family is gonna be in my my living room. Yeah. We finna eat some fish. Right. Yeah. Right. And, and you know, I, it, you know, me and Ken was talking. You know, he'll be like, hey. Nobody was trying to check on anybody else. It was more like, hey, bring two dollars and a side and we can all eat this. Right. And it was also a time you could go to your neighbor yes. if you was if you didn't have flour, be like, Hey, brother Johnson. Right. You know what I'm saying? Can I you know, can I can I borrow a cup of flour? And it was nothing. nothing. It was it wasn't no accounting or nothing. They like might that. Send, you might send get you might get sent as a son or as right. a older, you know, sibling or whatever. Your mama or daddy might send you down there to go get it. It's just cool like that. You yep. know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah. like now, that's what I love about River Park. Like my neighbors, the other night my neighbor came knocking on my back door. She probably shouldn't have knocked on my back door because that was not good. I was like, right. who is at my back door? But mm-hmm. she she brought me and my other neighbors some cupcakes or can I ask them, they send the kids over. We do that. And right. that's what I love about River Park. Right. Is that right. sense of community. Yeah, right. yeah, we got it in. So... We, we talk a, we talk a lot about community and village and there there is some going on yeah but the powers that be don't focus on that they extrapolate on the things that aren't going right in the community for their benefit of course you got to keep in mind what's, what sells ratings yeah happy look good vibes Fish fries, uh, Big Whiz, right. um, Domino's. Uh, yeah, Domino's, right. to- bean, bean toss, we right. call it Children bean toss. Dozens. Remember, that, you know, like people would say bullying. I remember you just had to get in there, everybody's gonna talk you about it. You feel when did bullying right? even come in? It's like, yo, come on, man. I, it I, came I, into play when. No, the, no, the no, no, say it. The non melanated folks. Start um, turning everything. Start, can, no, they start committing suicide. Oh, yeah. That's the kids right. start offing themselves. At a young age. For At a young age for being teased. Like, that was a part of That's life. our culture, right? We was like, it's hey, growing up. Big head. Or, I got called big lip this for so long that it don't even bother me. At, after, like, second, third grade, it was just like, that's the only joke you got? That's all you got? That's all you, you got, got, bro? Yeah. You, you, ain't, you ain't in it for the long haul. Right. Right, you already used that one. This is already recycled. Nah, man, I'm going to drive you. Oh, yeah. That's funny. I had She-Ra jokes because I've always been solid. So, like, she you, that's pretty good, though. Right. Whoever said that, hey, <laughs> shout out to you. Shout out that's to that. That's funny. <laughs> shout out to that. You making me, we got to go back to 
the to cartoons. Smurfs. We got to go back to the you cartoons. Like Brave Star. You know, Brave Star. What? The power. I forgot of y'all eighties kids. The, the greatest yeah, cartoons you, was in the nineties. Don't no. say snorkels or something. Like Wait a minute. It was some. Know. It was some great cartoons in the nineties though. Throw out a couple, and I'm. I, it was, I mean, you gotta think of the network. We had we that's when Cartoon Network first came out. We still had Dario. I probably shouldn't have been watching. Dario was such a prick. <laughs> Is that the dull the looking girl with the glasses? I think it was yeah. a spin. It, she was it was a spin off of Beavis and Butthead. Butthead. Yeah. Right. Right. She was in their class. Right, that's just true. She yeah. was so docile, just yeah. so. Uh, I like Dario. Uh, yeah, Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, yeah, that was that was great. So controversial. Yeah, Nickelodeon that was, great. was dope back then. Yeah, not so dope now. Well, uh, I'm trying yeah, to think of the time yeah. Hanna Barbera was hot. Was that that's, still in the eighties? That's, 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 that's late eighties, early nineties. Okay, yeah. okay. That's Saturday morning lined up. Definitely. Me, me and the cup, me and Cleon, my cousin was just talking about that. It was a little short gangster dude. He ran with two big old dudes. He was just mean as hell. He had a big old hat. Man, you got. He was a Hanna Barbera dude. I mean, he didn't on, take man. no man. He had a cigar. He didn't take no mess. That's my guy. I know. I gotta go find his car. You know what I'm talking about? He was explaining. Yeah, that nigga was. Like that. <laughs> hey, you know who was my nigga though? Jabber, 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 jabber jaw. You remember Jabber Jaw? Jabber Jaw. Jabber Jaw. You know yeah, what I mean? I was into Looney Tunes. <clears throat> Looney Tunes was that deal. That yeah, was. I was into Looney Tunes. Like, they start blending like that next level wit with cartoons yeah. and being like, you know what? I'm kind of older, but I'm still wait, laughing wait at cartoons. Wait a minute. So you saying? Was that one? So you saying that Looney Tunes could have been the inception of parents? Sitting down to watch cartoons with their kids, and yes. the parents catching on to some shit. Right. right. While the kids is like, ah, yeah, you know, because right. I was giving the credit to Shrek, because Shrek absolutely. Shrek. That was, was the breakout that's, for me. Like, that's I think for movies. Movie. Yeah. 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 So it was going yeah. on piece by piece yeah. Yeah. in piece the early piece. nineties. What? I don't know. I had this scummy chick in my class. I ain't gonna say your name. Uh, <laughs> you know who you are. Yeah, you know, like, you know who you are. You're all the way over in like Pakistan or somewhere, <laughs> Sri Lanka. I just saw it on Facebook. <laughs> you know who you are. But you came to school. She came to school talking about how dirty. Uh, uh, what's the Disney movie? The first one with Ala- Aladdin. Oh yeah. And uh, and uh, uh, what's the girl? Uh, the, the one. The one that swam underwater. What's her name? Ariel. Ariel. Ariel Mer- she Mer- she Mer- like Mer- listen to him real close. So you can hear the dirty, nasty talk that they have. I'm like, come on, really? now. Now he's going to go back. I'm going to have to go back. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, when, like when he was on the, uh, remember he fell off the uh, top of the, the uh, where he's talking to the princess, and be, but the, she didn't know the blanket or the rug was behind the thing. He fell off like he really fell, and she was like, oh, what happened? And then the rug, but the rug put him back up. She said that right before there, he, he whispered like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, right. Cool. Yeah, I said, right. but then when yeah. you listen to it, I think it get into your head because then you listening for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you're like, hold on, did the beat, the beat, because a little beat come up like, yes, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, nothing surprises me. Yeah, I'm like, now man, I gotta go back. Go back all and this, like, all the way she up. had one. Hey, bro, she had one for every Disney movie. <laughs> it's like, watch Lion King at this part right here. Listen to it. She was ahead of her time. You know who you are. It's yeah. come back. Yeah. She was like the four, she's kids. like the foremother of right finding out That's pretty good. underlying yep. dual meanings, but it you like you made me think about Looney Tunes. You made me think about t- Animaniacs. That was Animaniacs. Animaniacs was the, the stuff. Shit. Yeah. Um, Yakko, Wacko, Dot. That's, my, that's, that's Animaniacs, that, ain't it? Yep. Yeah, I love that's the, yeah, they go. Darkwing right. Duck. Ooh. Yes. Tailspin. Yes, Tailspin. Well, I have to I have to give shout out. I have to give a shout out to uh DuckTales. DuckTales. Because Duck, yeah. Darkwing Duck was a spin off of that. DuckTales, right. Yeah. Right. Got to give credit where it's due. Chippendale right. Rescue Rangers. That was my stuff too. I loved it. They all ran kind of like around they, the same time. Yeah. Well, like that afternoon lineup. Yeah, like if they started like four the o'clock or four thirty. Yep. Yeah, you like right. it was jerking. It was like, so man, no you homework. Switch, you got to switch between channels because I was watching Disney and Nickelodeon at the same time. You had yeah, to commit over our way. It was like either <laughs> one. You had to really ride with the Disney. Well, or you had I was to only child, the, so it didn't matter. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, you had fun. See, we was in the spot. It was like thirty kids in there. You know what I'm saying? That so. that was around the time I was going to the YMCA. <laughs> yeah. um, we went to I went to Genesis. The yeah, forty oh, third. Yeah, Boys and Girls Club. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every summer. Uh huh. What's that one? Uh, See that even stuff like that, like kicking it around, like moving around while she gave 
Boys and Girls Club. It ain't even it ain't even like popping like that. You know, what it's saying? it seems like it's not. It doesn't seem like it's popping into the summer when you have all these kids that are coming together from different schools and different sides of town, and you're. I don't know if the program is expecting them to get along, but it's like it's different territories. Like, man, who the hell are you? Right, you stepping? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. for that three months, or however many weeks, while mom and dad or whoever has to work, we have to put the kids somewhere. Right. So it's like, hey, you got to go along to get along, and it didn't. It just did. It seemed more organic back in the day. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, I was yeah. in the YMCA from second grade until fifth. You know, around. Into my fifth grade year, I started. I was a latch, you know, latchkey child. Like, but I made so many friends, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh uh, man, the originals. The original. The original. Yeah. The new ones look scary. Yeah. They are scary. But like, we would be playing basketball. As soon as you heard that come on, we go to that small ass <laughs> that TV in the corner. Like, oh no, I'm Michelangelo today. Man, I didn't. I didn't, wasn't able to do it. Nigga, Terrence beat Power me to Rangers. it. Right. I got to be Raphael. Yeah, I was man. Power Rangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The original, Power the original, the original Power, 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 yeah. Not the twenty thousand series that came after. Yeah, they took it and made everything, everything. But we, I remember Voltron though. Look, yeah. Voltron Thundercats. was that deal. Thunder, ugh, come on, man. Look, yeah. you making me go to. We look. I know. Like, I'm trying to leave know. I'm trying, I know. I'm cops. You. cops, you remember cops? Yeah. Cops was that deal because the main nigga was a nigga. Was it bulletproof? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> They used to do the Rundell Cops. Bowser and Blitz. Yeah, that's it. Who wanted a dog like that? I know I did. Yeah, I went straight back to the 80s. Yeah. yeah that's Misdemeanor. That's Dr. Bad Vibes. Nightshade. Somebody on the other side listen. Yo, <laughs> hey, 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 tell, hey, tell me, tell me, you know, when they gave the lineup, right. Nightshade. Use caution and apprehendings. I'm like, who the hell is use caution and apprehendings? I didn't know what that meant. You know what I mean? Like, like who's that character? They ain't made it yet. Yep. <laughs> but I think that was the only time it was permissible to watch cartoons. Of course, you had the Saturday morning. Yeah. Uh, but you know, after school for that hour, the hour and a half. What's my guy? Uh, remember the Bo Jackson, Wayne Gretzky. Who else was with Michael him? Jordan? And Michael Jordan. Yeah. You remember that? No. Ah, oh, you ain't remember yeah. that? I forget what the name was. It was All Stars or something. Something like All Stars. Yeah. You know, man. I hate to say, but I missed out on. Damn near all the Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah. Church. Yeah. Literally, man, like the church that I grew up in. What was y'all doing on y'all was seven Saturday? day event? We yeah, were not non denomination. I was non denomination. Why were y'all seven day Adventists? Why were y'all seven day Adventists? Yeah, we were on seven, seven, yeah, seven day Adventist type of oh, tip. So okay, okay. sunset on Friday. Church. We couldn't start. watch no T V. Mm-hmm. We could you know, we couldn't perform in any activity all the way until Saturday sunset. Oh, so I missed out on so many Saturday morning cartoons. Right. I, I couldn't go outside. Was we had allowed to eat a Saturday. bowl of cereal? Damn. Yeah, barely. <laughs> right. I was in my jaws. If we didn't have baseball, you know, we play a lot. Of, you know, we play sports. But, man, that was a time you just wake up, like, T-shirt. Yeah. Some sh- you know, some shorts. My aunt's, on the couch, like, big bowl. My yeah. aunt's 10 years older than me, so... On Saturday, we know for a fact my grandparents went to two places. Either they went to Gates and got a mixed plate, or they went to Houston. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to go ahead and hit you on the job with this one. Which Gates? Right. Oh, I don't know. The one down here? I don't know. Okay, I got to go I gotta go to the Gates, okay? The one we got here on Paseo. All right. Yeah. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. You, remember, you remember the, the one that was on, it's across, on, it's across the, the Village Green? Yeah. Shouts out to Village Green 1507 Lexington Court. That's where I came from. 861 about the How rap? do I remember I know, my right? I start a song <laughs> up in this month. Look, I remember, you know, when Flush Creek wasn't all the way through, Gates was Did you literally say Flush Creek. I call, I've always called it Flush Creek. Guy, yeah, yeah. You remember when that original Gates had a car wash? What? The original Gates had a car wash. On the side of it. Yeah. And it wasn't no tennis court over there then, back then, was it? Uh, it was still Martin the Luther King. Was still over there. Yeah, that okay. was still right. you know a little little down the ways. Right. That's back when Woodland went straight all through. the way through, through, though. Right, man, you taking it way yeah. back. Yeah, this wow. hey, today's episode is nostalgic. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but see, I you know like and then Kansas City was kind of territorial. Yeah, so like we kind of from the north to east part of the city. You know what I'm saying? So like. Once you hit the fifties, we was kind of like not. We'll go to Twelfth Street. We went to Gates. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. We're going to Brook Twelfth in Brooklyn. 
So well, see, that one was not really freak, frequented that much if you live on you know, a certain part of the town. You know what I'm saying? That's something because like you've had you've had we've had these conversations before, and I moved out south in August of '87, so I didn't I wasn't a witness to that. Mm-hmm. You know, but like hearing you say certain things, like hey, this was the territory that we went. Like, do you think that was a good thing to to know? Hey, these are the boundaries. Like, no, nah, we don't go here. We go over here. Hell do you yeah. think it was so something? Stay alive. at that point in time. Yeah, yeah. and during that, during that era, because you know, like you said, every block had families and community. So going into the wrong community was not like now, where you can go drive up and down any block in Kansas City. Yeah, but back then, you know, niggas is hanging out. You know, what I mean, just my family alone. I think my mom had. It's six or seven of them. And then a house next door, it's six or seven of them. And then a house. So if one of them like, hey, we don't like this, you might be running down the street with 30 people chasing you. Okay. So it's like, yeah, you kind of stay within your boundary. But you also didn't really want to go nowhere else because you was had fun. Yeah, it was, was your world. Yeah, yeah, you go to the park, go swimming at the you know, local communities, yeah. you know, whatever. Every area had a pool. Pool, yeah. So Every it's like, area had a pool. why would I go swim at your dirty pool all the way over there? Matter of fact, we don't even eat gates over there because the best one is on 12th Street. Yeah. I mean, we, you know, I ain't saying that literally, but you know what I mean, like, as far as... Well, like, as far as your experience, right. yeah, 12th of Brooklyn, was yeah. a, you know, that was the deal for That's you. the goal. That's the best yeah. goal. So, See, go Arthur Bronze is right there, even though I don't really eat it. Okay. We didn't go to Brooklyn because I grew up 56 and Lydia. Right, so you right went right there. there. Yeah, he was right there. Yeah. So, th- here's, what here's what I'm getting to. Was it, was it almost underlying segregation... They talk about Between, that now. They just had a community meeting about that. Kansas City has always been separated and segregated, and they segregate by zip code. Right. Zoning improvement plan. It's always mm-hmm. been that way, and it's been okay because it's always been that way. Since the they they said since the foundation of Kansas City, it's always been separated. Well, well, what I'm getting to is amongst our people, amongst the melanated, right. has it been small clusters and communities? But they were segregated. Right. You had certain yeah. places that you yeah. would go to. Right. But, I, like, in my mind, I'm wondering if you just happened to go somewhere where you didn't belong. With, could, would somebody shout out, like, hey, what you doing over here? Hey, yeah. Lil P, what you doing over here? You I, know you need to go back over here. I know your mama. Right. So, like, even if she did, even if they didn't get along, is would it was it still, like, a respect factor? Like, you, you know you need to go on back to... Right, you know, I I think about our you know our parents went to Lincoln and whatnot, and then some of the people that my parents just don't really have the it ain't like they don't like them. Yeah, but then I'd be like, what school they go to? And they'd be like Southeast. I'm like, ah, oh, that's why. Right, yeah. you know it what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah. Like, like, what what school you go to? Southwest. Like, mm. mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. She went to Southwest. I'd be like, Southwest. are you went to Lincoln? Oh yeah, yeah. And they get to talking and rambling or whatever. Even Central might be a little bit cool, but. You know, you say Southwest, Southeast, it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah okay, okay, yeah. okay yeah. It's yeah, 90 degrees outside. Uh, yeah, right, yeah. That's <laughs> a, uh, a hot air balloon show. Right. Right? <laughs> you know. No, New Mexico, you yeah, know New Mexico, I mean? yeah, yeah, we're going to draw it out in here. Yeah, you know, but I, I think you got a good point there, man. Here's another thing that I wanted to say. Um, it, you know, me and Ken was talking, and he would say, he talked to his mom. His mom was like, you didn't see as much police brutality because those police respective police were staying in that community so they couldn't just do what the hell they wanted to do and then drive off no you had to you were policing this area but you two houses down where we know where your family is. You got so it wasn't great. just it wasn't just helter skelter the way it is. Phenomenal point. Point because I know uh, majority cops I know stay all the way up north. Up north. And so it's like you ain't you can come uh, thirty drive your thirty minutes back into the hood, do your, do your job and treat people scummy, and then you know we ain't got to worry about seeing the people that you're dealing with. But with, to your point, yeah, man, I wish a, I wish a cop would. Come on, you stay down the street and you over here, man. You gonna get your like, look, ass man. I just saw, look, I just you, saw your wife. You know what I mean? Right. It it, it makes you think. Sec. It, it makes you have second thoughts about. Okay. Yeah. And plus, there was much more respect because my grandpa, like they, they grew, they was on seventy sixth and Lydia, so he policed his neighborhood, but everybody knew him and he knew everybody. So versus beating the hell out of you, he'd be like, "Come on, bro." Yeah. Hmm. 
Right, you know, you know, you know. You Come know. on. I mean, it's like my man, what's his name? Would do ad hoc. He stayed right, right around the way. Yeah, so yeah. it's like. You know, come on, Al, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, people knew him cause from the community first. Right. You know, then the job. But Yeah, he was out here. I think he sold my grandparents their home. Get out of here. Venue. Wow. He sold them their home. Now, he was a policeman. And a real estate. Yeah. I mean, he was just he was just like one of the cats that put back his back work in, 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 man. He like was... A- like the 19th. He had to be a punt returner. Like, yeah, the best punt returner in the city. You know what I mean? You know, people don't talk the about Minnesota it. Minnesota Vikings, too, yeah. right? Like, right. He played in the AFL. But, um, where was okay, I wait. going? I don't know. Like, the whole, just the whole policing. Hey, do y'all remember it was a time when the police, and my dude, my dude Tristan put me up on this one. He said he remembers it was a time policemen used to hand out baseball cards. Yeah, they started that. doing that again. What? Yeah, they, they just did. now started. They did. They wow. did bring it back. They, they bring brought it back. back. They said it was more it was more community morale then. But baseball, know. but see, the thing about bringing it back now is even though we did win the uh, World Series a couple years ago, or last year, a year and a half ago, but baseball then was way much bigger in Kansas City mm-hmm. as it relates to baseball cards. Like that was the stuff. Tops, Fleer, yeah, uh, the com- You know, you can name. Di- was it Dodgers or something? Yeah, di- yeah, Diamond Series or yeah, something like that. Yeah. But I mean, now baseball cards are. You know, it's like, dude, we got video. We got games that look almost like real people now, man. These kids don't. So you got to hand out something more better than. The- I'm saying as far as relevancy would, you know. Well, I'm, you know, I'm I'm very confident there are I'm people that like are doing their research. Baseball card. Well, yeah, you know what people are searching and trying to and trying to gauge something like well, what can we do to to bring us back together? Um, you know, to where we don't fear the police and, and things like that. Right. And I I don't think I don't think a community can be policed properly without the police being entrenched in the community they need to live there like you said that's why i said that's a great point man um it ain't no different than us working as civil servants for the city they met it's mandatory that you live in the city yep but like if i was the pre if i was a principal of you know a school well, in our district i could live all the way the police, they somewhere live in else the city they push the borders out right right that is true so that's what we're saying so when it comes to you know certain the breakdown of the neighborhood though it's like, so are you saying they should live in it? Because they do live in the city. You should you police saying, your area. If you, whatever area, you, like the officers that work at Metro should live in Metro. Exactly. Yep. East Patrol should live yeah. in Metro. Yep. So they should live. Who, they would, who would know more about the Metro than the person that lives in the Metro? Who right. would know more about up north than the person that lives up north? Um, and by, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I think that would be, that would definitely lift, lift morale as far as the community goes. Exactly. It I'm gonna see stop. you at the grocery store. I'm gonna right. see you around the, that swimming at the, you know, the y, local Y or whatever we're doing, you know. So, your kids probably might go to the same school as mom and see you at them uh, events or, mm-hmm. yep. you know, whatever. So, that fish fry. Yeah, and then you wrote me come that ticket, out. but come you know, I gotta sit. Yeah, exactly. Come on. Yeah. Come on over to the let's, body fish you know, well, fry. Let's talk about it. You know, you wanna eat. You know, we got some good uh, crappie, you know? Then you wouldn't let the other police that's coming in do things. Did you would have more ventured in? interest to where, like, hey, man, you can't be over here writing people on their way to work. Like, I saw a cop right there on 43rd. Right when it, it I mean, it's the slope where you got to go down. So either you're going to ride your bro- brakes hard. Yeah. He's on the bottom of that giving people tickets at, like, I don't know, seven, something in the morning. Because well, it's, like, it's so hot. Is up it's so hot at seven in the morning. Right. You know, at 7 in the morning, people on their way to work, man. He's out there dishing. I mean, on my way there and my way back after dropping the kids at school. Yeah. Still right, people. I said, he need to call another one. White guy. I said, so I should be able to go to your community. I know you don't live nowhere around here. Nah. And, you know, do the same. You know what I'm saying? I should be able to write tickets on. Or, you know, if I'm, I guess I'll send a black cop up to, I don't know, give me a, throw an address out there. Uh, 7806. North Sycamore. Right. Yep. Um, like hit them up. Northwest Sycamore. Yeah, hit them up. Like, yeah. Ah, you know. But, but, you know, but I wonder, like, did we do our own police? Like, did we do our own policing as well Back in the then, community? Like, Yes, because the village was very prevalent then. You had um, everybody, everybody was everybody's mama. Everybody was everybody's daddy. 
So if I'm a kid who don't have a dad in the house, it don't matter because the Johnsons are next door and Mr. Johnson is the community daddy. Yep. He's the community husband. Or Mr. Russell, we already know Mr. Russell going to help us with our, our oil changes because right. he know how to fix no, everybody's car right. in the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody was everybody's family. There yeah. was no separation. There was I, no... I would say I was... From 13, 14, we moved off 29th and Wabash over to 19th Street, over off Jackson, into a city, uh, uh, a subdivision right inside the hood. So it was like going from that, like you just said, Jay, to knowing all my neighbors and going over their house to kind of a little bit sedity, people that got a little bit more money and they now they're a little bit sedity. Like, you know, you can look at my house and you like to paint on it, but we ain't really sharing no you know, day to day common commonality at all, you know. So it was still friends in the neighborhood but it wasn't like that, you know what I mean? That bond. Yeah, you lost you know, you lo- you do lose that. That was around thirteen, yeah. So that would have been what? About ninety five, ninety yeah, ninety five, ninety five mm-hmm. is things start changing. Uh, Sega was really like popping. Oh, Sega Genesis. Yeah, Genesis. Sega. Either you was a Sega Super Genesis. Nintendo. Either you was Sega Genesis or you was Super Nintendo person. Or you I was a Sega both. Genesis. Or you was a spoiled ass kid that had both. Well, no, no, no. I wasn't a spoiled ass kid. I had a Sega Genesis and my aunt had a Super Nintendo. So we brought them together. So I brought it together. She's only 10 years older than me. So yeah, we right. on Saturday mornings. Yeah, that's right. winning right there. Right. Mario Kart and some Sonic the Hedgehog. What? Oh, what you know I didn't think that. it could get any better than 16 bit. <laughs> then when PS One came out, right. it was just PlayStation. It wasn't no PS One. Right, PlayStation. Yeah. Then I had Crash Bandicoot. What? They can't. They tried to come out with some. Atari tried to come back with some. Uh, the Atari Jaguar. The Jaguar. Yeah. Uh, Turbo Graphic Sixteen tried to do a little something. Neo Geo, but it was Neo too Geo. expensive. Yeah, like they was tripping. Like damn, Neo I might Geo as well was buy dummy. The, I might as well buy the dang on arcade thing. Yeah, that's how much y'all charging. But Crash Bandicoot's coming back this year. Wow. So I told I told my son, your PS4 is going to be our PS4. We, we can't right. skip over Nintendo, though. Right. Nintendo. We can't skip over Nintendo. We're talking about Tech Mobile? What? what? Come on, man. What? Come on. Come on, man. Look, Tech only Mobile. reason why, only reason why you got... Bike. Excite bike? Look, man, you always used to let your bike overheat. How'd you I know? Tell, you always let your bike I overheat. That thing you try to match. create a crash course and use our... And go up that mountain and then it tumble down. I know, because I used to overheat mine too. Overheat. Like, Track and field, you try to use the A and B. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm going to get you this one. I'm going to get you. Spoil people. Jay but you know, probably had the track mat, didn't you? Did. Yep, she had the track mat. But see, we was even competitive then, though. You know, you go back to the whole bullying thing. It's like now kids with video games. It's like, man, they lose, they cry. The you know, they throw tantrums. temper tantrums. Was it was like a part of the culture to be good. Yeah, you know, at the video games, like you know, it was like, to be a sore winner. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, you're like you gonna talk stuff, you know what I mean? But, the idea was to stay competitive and just to, to not be a victim about it. Like, exactly. okay, you got me today, right? But I'm gonna be the Raiders tomorrow, and I'm gonna Bo Jackson, Marcus Allen, your ass, like no, nope. because it ain't fair. It yeah. wasn't fair. They're the Raiders the, on Tech You better pick the Giants. That was the answer. You gotta pick. Carl yeah. Banks and Lawrence Taylor. They could hey, they were not of- fair. Yeah, them niggas just stole people like, ah. Jay probably thought she was good at Miss Pac-Man, didn't you? <laughs> I was the best. Okay. Yeah, that, hey, that, everybody says they're the best. Okay. Let me think about it. Yeah, I was the best. I was the best. And I had 25 male cousins. I was the best. Is that right? Yeah, competition was. You remember no what the high, you remember what your high score was? No. Oh, see, nope. No. See, so you wasn't the best. See, you wasn't the best. What level did you get to? Pretzel. <laughs> she got to the pair. To the pair. <laughs> I remember. I just know it was every day. It was just be better than the boys. Yeah. Even my pop. That's funny because even my pops got in like heavy on that one. Like you know, that was something you know to be, see them get involved with. Video games would be like new tech mobile. Like we about to sit up here and play like all night. And then all the fighting games came out. Hold on a second. Uh, I know. Yeah. You, I Tekken, know. Mortal Kombat. What's the Come best on. fighting game? Let's go ahead and throw it out there. Man, of that's your time or that time? When you okay? I'm. That's a toss between Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter Two. Oh, good call. I still like Tekken. Tekken was dope. Tekken, Tekken was, was different. Dope. It brought a I like different. Tekken. Yeah, Tekken yeah. was different. It just Tekken brought a whole new. Stuff. It gave a real art, like you know, uh, originality to it. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, wait a minute, stuff. Wait a minute. 
Cause I, cause I'm automatically thinking about the Neo. Cause Neo I'm Dragon. automatically thinking no, Fist Double Dragon Two. Woo. Double Dragon Two. Okay, that's when you and your partner y'all can fight together. You know what I'm saying? That was around the same time as Renegade. Come on, man. I'm going. I'm too. I'm going too far back for y'all, man. Renegade. Not Renegade. Them was the games, man. Right. Renegade is another one I, I, I used to like. Uh, Ikari Warriors, Legendary Wings. <laughs> POW. POW, that was it. POW. Do, need I say more? POW was hard. Trojan. Yeah, see, my cousin, and that was the thing. Like, okay, family. I didn't have, I had all the sports. I was, you know, sports raised, so we had all the sports. My cousin, they was the. Try anything, jump off a book building type. So they had all the action right. games. Everybody so it was like it was a great blend. Right. It was yeah. just like perfect. You know what I'm saying? A perfect blend. Yeah. Uh, man, you Ninja, Ninja Gate, not Ninja Gate and Ninja, Ninja. Man, you got me stumped on that one. I don't remember. Kung Fu. Movie. I mean, Kung Fu. Oh yeah, Kung yeah, Fu. Yeah, Ninja yeah, Gate yeah, and Kung yeah, Fu. Yeah, yeah, that was dope. I, 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 yeah, I, 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 on the board. <laughs> You so. did that, okay, okay. Look, man, we can look, look. We about to keep going, man. Man, Ninja Guy. Which one? What? Shinobi. Shinobi was dope. Shinobi was dope. You remember Shinobi? Yeah, yes. I wasn't that good at it, but yeah, it was dope. You know, I throw any Ninja Blades. Yeah. Yeah, Shinobi was was it? Look, man, we can keep. Hey, we can keep digging, y'all. Uh, you know, we just letting y'all know, hey. We talk about some activist, you know, type of shit, but at the same right. token, we talk about community and, and, you know, I hope, you know, we went down to Stouch Lane. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's important to know your past and history and things that built you up, you know, because then that's what we offer. Yeah. And then you know where to start from. Exactly. Building. I yep. mean, these things got to mean something to us. We talking 20 years ago. We talking right. about it like it was just yesterday. yesterday. But it's amazing that. I can speak for I I'll speak for all of us right now. We all remember that feeling. Yeah, yes, it was good. Yeah. Like I I don't want to end this conversation. <laughs> I want to keep talking about you know what I'm saying. The, all the game. Like who was your best street fighter person? You know, oh. Ryu. You know what I'm saying. Balrog. <laughs> Ball. You know what I'm saying. Who yeah, was the they? Blanca? Oh, I would get e Honda, to man, don't come on, man. I ain't gonna lie. I, would, I, I gotta go ahead and say, I used to kick people but with Chun Li, man. Hey, man, Chun Li was thick, nigga. Chun Li was <laughs> thick, nigga. Like, what? Like, that blue, blue dress just go up a little bit. Yeah, more. like I like to see her die because that leg would be up, that thigh would be up. I'm like, man, I can't <laughs> wait till she die. He loves it on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. But yeah, hey, hey, we're gonna shut it out, man. We're gonna shut <laughs> it out, right. man. Well, we're gonna go yeah, down man. nostalgia, man, sooner than later. But uh man, what else y'all got, man? I can keep going, man, but I'm gonna stop. Man. Yeah, man. I know y'all got some yeah, you know, y'all got other plans and things on this beautiful day. So uh we'll go I'm ahead and shut go it see out. Jane Elliott tonight. What's that? She's gonna be a K uh K C K. She's Memorial Hall. Downtown uh six hundred North Seventh Street. It Jane was the Elliott, Caucasian lady. She's a Caucasian lady who does not believe in racism. No, she doesn't believe in white privilege. I just—they might have seen a clip on that. She yes. was on, I believe it was Oprah or Donahue, yeah. and she just she put down the ironclad truth. Yes, she, she was does. like, "This is what the public public school system does. This is what white." You've supremacy seen her video. Yeah. You've seen her video on Facebook and YouTube. She's the white lady. She was mm -hmm. like, she's talking to a crowd of white students, and mm -hmm. she was like. Raise your hand if you would want to be treated like you know. The black oh, she people. don't. When you say she don't believe it, she don't believe that we should operate like that. Oh yeah. hell no! Yeah. Right. Okay. When you say she don't believe, I thought you meant that she don't. Be, she don't believe it exists. No, no, no. She don't believe. She, she points it out that it, it exists. Good. Right. I got you. Hmm. She makes it. I'm look. I'm about to look this up right now. Yeah. So that video. Oh, you've seen the video. Everybody yeah, seen yeah, the yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Jane Elliott. Yeah, I, okay. yep. 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 she's gonna be at uh, Memorial Hall, six hundred North Seventh Street, KCK, 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 KCK. KCK. February seventeenth, six to eight, free to the public. Yeah, uh, my my class tonight, instead of having class in a traditional sense, we're actually going, and that's our class tonight. So that's dope. I'm excited for you. I'm excited. Yeah, you're gonna have to let us know. You know, our next episode how it went. Right. Yes. Um. Hey, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and end it out, man. Yeah. Um, we appreciate y'all support. We appreciate y'all subscribing, um, you know, commenting, just spreading the word, and you know, we bringing we bringing our flavor on life. 
We okay. bring our perspective on life, and we appreciate y'all perspective, man. You know, most definitely. Yep, as always, stay elevating. Peace. Me's production. <laughs> Ba-da-da-da Ba-da-da-da